Lesson 1.5, Different Ways to Write Numbers. We're going to do word form and expanded form. We can write two-digit numbers in different ways. 23 can be written as two digits, a 2 and a 3 for 23. We can write it as tens and ones, as two tens and three ones. And we can write it in expanded form, 20 plus 3, or word form, 23. Notice there's a hyphen there. When we write a number in expanded form, we write the value of each digit with a plus sign between them. 23 is 20. We have a 2 here, that's two tens, that's 20, plus the three ones. When we write a number in word form, we write the number by using words. 23 is 20 with a hyphen, 3. We can write a number we hear in the box using two digits. Then we can write it as tens and ones. If I said the number 38, we can write 38 in the box. And 38 is three tens and eight ones. There's a three in the tens place and an eight in the ones place. If I said the number 50, we could write the number 50 in this box. 50 is five tens because there's a five in this tens place and zero ones because there's a zero in the ones place. In the number 33, each three has a different value. The three in the tens place has a value of 30, and the three in the ones place has a value of three. And three tens is a lot more than three ones. We're using the same digit three, but it has a different value depending on which place it is in. When we write a number in word form, we only use words. We make sure they're spelled correctly. Here's a chart of all the digits that are in the ones. Here's some teen words, and here's the tens. And I'll have a copy of this chart on my Joanne School Facebook page in the photo album Charts and Grids. You can print it if you want. Some word form numbers have a hyphen like the number 21. We have 21, and there's a hyphen in between 20 and 1. And if you notice, it goes from 21 to 29, and they have hyphens. Then it skips 30, and it goes from 31 to 39. They have hyphens. And it skips 40, and then from 41 to 49, they have a hyphen. Do you see the pattern? 30... 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. They don't have hyphens, but when we add a 1 through 9 to the end of the word, we put a hyphen. See? So some word form numbers have a hyphen and some don't. And you know they have a hyphen if the number ends with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Now we're going to use some higher order thinking skills. That means we have to think a little harder. We need to complete the table to show another way to write the numbers. We can see two digits, tens and ones, expanded form, and word form. And we can see 68 is written as two digits. And we can see it's written as six tens and eight ones. We need to write it in expanded form. And we can use the information that's in the table to help us to do that. We see this one's written in expanded form, so we know how to write expanded form. We would write a 60 plus an 8. 
we write the value of each digit with a plus sign between them. We can write 68 in word form. We make sure to remember the hyphen because it ends with the number 8. Now, the two-digit number in the tens and ones are missing for this number, but we can see that the number is 70. We can write 70 as a two-digit number, and we can write it as tens and ones. We see there's seven in the tens place and a zero in the ones place. We have seven tens and zero ones. Bob has a favorite number. The number has the digit five in the ones place. We can use a place value chart to help us. And the digit two in the tens place. We need to write this number in expanded form and word form. We can see there are two tens and five ones. Expanded form uses a plus sign. It's 20 plus 5, and we can write 25 in word form. We write 25, and we remember that there's a hyphen in between the words 20 and 5. Here we have a riddle. It says, I am a number that has a digit greater than 8 in my ones place, and a digit less than 3 in my tens place circle all the numbers that I can be. It says it has a digit greater than eight in the ones place and less than three in the tens place. What we can do is read them and we could even write the two digit number next to them. This is 19. Nine is greater than eight in the ones place and one in the tens place is less than three. So 19 would fit. He could be 19. 27, it needs a digit greater than eight in the ones place. Well, seven is not greater than eight, so 27 cannot be the number. Here we have 28, it says the digit in the ones place is greater than eight. If it's greater than eight, it's not eight. It has to be more than eight. So it's not 28. Here we have 29. Nine is greater than eight. We have a two in the tens place and it says the digit must be less than three. Two is less than three in the tens place. So 29 fits. Here's 30. Does it have a digit greater than eight in the ones place? It has a zero. So no, it does not have a digit greater than eight in the ones place. And it doesn't have a digit less than three in the tens place. Three is not less than three. So it's not 30. So we know for this riddle that the number could be 19 or 29. Out of these answers, and we've solved it. We're gonna use higher order thinking skills again, so we're gonna think harder again. We need to fill in the blanks to make the sentence true. And we can use any number that makes it true. Here we have 23. 23 is the same as blank tens and blank ones. Do you know what we would put there? If you said two tens and three ones, you're right. Now look at this one. It says six tens and blank one is the same as blank plus blank. What, what number could we put here and what two numbers could we put here that would make that sentence true? Now remember, it says that we can use any number that makes it true. We could use a three, we could use a one, a two, we could use any number 
We could even put a zero there. I think I'll choose a three. You could choose any number that you'd like. Six tens, three ones is the same as, I need to write it in expanded form as, the value of each digit with a plus sign between them. We have 60 plus three. This one says 90 plus some number is the same as, we need to put it in word form, and we can use any number that makes it true. I can put a five there and say 90 plus five is the same as 95, and I write it in word form with a hyphen here. And I could have put a zero, a one, a two, a three, a four, a six, seven, eight, or nine, as long as I wrote the word correctly with the hyphen. A number has a seven in the ones place and a three in the tens place. Circle all the ways to write this number. It has a seven in the ones place and a three in the tens place. Seven in the ones place, three in the tens place, 37. This fits, we can circle that one. We need to find other ways to write 37. We have a three in the tens place and a seven in the ones place. So it wouldn't be this one because that's seven tens. And it wouldn't be this one because that's seven tens for 73. Here we have 30 plus seven. That would be 37. That one works. Here we have 70 plus three. That's too many tens, so that one doesn't work. Here we have three tens, seven ones. That makes 37. That one works. Here we have the words 37. That one works. That could be a way to write it. And here we have the two digits 73. No, that's too many tens and not enough ones. So that can't be it. We found four ways to write a number with a seven in the ones place and a three in the tens place. So remember, expanded form has a plus sign between the values. And in word form, if the two digit number ends with a one to a nine, it's going to have a hyphen. Our next lesson, 1.6, we're gonna talk about different names for numbers. And we're gonna talk more about tens and ones. And I hope I see you there. I hope you're doing well. Keep trying, I'm proud of you. Bye.